the hosting a school, Highland View Academy. <laughs> Our neighbor school next door, Mount Edna Adventist School. <laughs> and Rocky Knoll Adventist School in West Virginia. And the Spencerville Adventist Academy. We want to welcome every one of you, and we hope that this concert today is going to be for the honor and glory of God and for your enjoyment. I'm going to let you now uh, with our school principal, Mr. Rob Sgeri. You know, Highland View Academy is blessed to be able to host music festival, and we're also blessed not just by the presence of all of the students, but by our wonderful music director, David Nino. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of coordination, a lot of communication, a lot of planning and preparation, and most of all, it takes a lot of prayer. As a Seventh-day Adventist institution, we are blessed to be able to host a Christ-centered music festival. We hope that all of your students and all of you have noticed that God's spirit is present in this place with us. So if you would, please stand. If you're in the audience, if you're one of the participants, you can remain seated. Please stand for our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, it is a wonderful Sabbath day, and this is a great way to spend the afternoon together with hundreds of new friends, celebrating the gifts that you have given to these young people. Their musical talents, Lord, are being offered to you just now, and we pray that you will see them as acceptable in your sight. May the students, when they leave at the end of the program, Leave with a knowledge that they can go and share these talents throughout the world for your glory. Be with us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. <laughs> Didn't realize how live that's going to be. Thank you for the quick adjust. Good afternoon. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is CJ Daniel, and it's my pleasure to have worked with our Music Fest band students this week. What a wonderful group of students they are, and what a fantastic job they've done. Um, thank you so much for sending your students to Adventist institutions and getting them involved in music. Thank you to all the music teachers that helped prepare them for this festival. And we are going to be blessed by those efforts. We worked diligently in a number of rehearsals and I hope everyone learned a little something and um, a little something about themselves, about the music and about uh, this wonderful activity that we do together. This first piece that we're gonna share for you entitled Be Still My Soul, the tune began before we, it, it was the hymn that we were all familiar with, as um, a tune from a be beautiful orchestral tone poem, and it became so popular, written by Finnish composer uh, Jean Sibelius, that it became the national anthem of Finland, sometimes called Finlandia, but we know it as the hymn tune Be Still My Soul. This particular arrangement was written by famous band composer Robert W. Smith, uh, Mr. Smith passed away suddenly just a few weeks ago. He was just 57 years old. Uh, I think it was a sudden heart attack. He's written 
volumes of music that's been played all over the country by the youngest of musicians, by mature collegiate ensembles. I played his music when I was their age, and so um, we do this both in, uh, in remembrance of him and in the glory of the, of the Lord these words are about. Be still, my soul. On Sabbath morning, Octo October 27th, in 2018, tragedy struck the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, in an act of violence, parishioners that were there at the temple looking for spiritual re uh, fulfillment, who went there in search of peace, were met with violence. Composer Laura Estes wrote this next, uh, next piece in response to that. Entitled, Go in Peace. She wrote this piece in remembrance of that particular event, but it's not an elegy. It's not a sad piece. It feels, I, I don't want to say defiant, but it, it, it turns in the face of that tragedy. Because while sometimes these crazy acts of violence that exist in our world feel like they are outside of the gate from our wonderfully blessed communities that we live in, they still exist, and they are still out there. And the Lord has said that blessed 
are the peacekeepers. And so in our hands, we have things that are made of wood and metal and brass and steel. And none of them are weapons. They are all tools of praise. And we play this next piece in the memories of all those that are experiencing terrible violence and unrest and the absence of peace, knowing that we are the peacekeepers and hope to be that for the entire world. That is our mission. So we shall go in peace.
Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. Testing. I think it's on. I just wanted to say a big thank you for the invitation to come and work with the students of Chesapeake Conference. They are amazing. What a great bunch of people. I tell you. Yes. We had our share of struggles on day one, but you know, we just prayed about it and we gave it to the Lord and said, you know what, this is a good thing that they're doing. Not one of these kids ever complained to me. They might have to the directors, but not to me. So I just want to thank you for such a fun, fun weekend. It's just been a joy to work with you. And we're going to finish with a little touch of Christmas because, you know, in the fall program, that's what they're working on anyway, right? Christmas. So maybe this is something I can use back home. Carol of the Bells. Um, it's a challenging piece, but they have risen to the occasion. And right now I'm just kind of looking at the back row back there because they do some major shifting around between the pieces. So did I give you enough time? You're good to go? All right. Carol of the Bells.
Hello everyone, my name is Emily Flores and I am the string clinician here and we are very excited to bring you three pieces. The first is Pax Rose and we don't know very much about this piece but it's a very darling tune which I hope you will love. And the second piece is the first Noel which I'm sure you guys will recognize.
them. There we go. As our bow clinician said, it is not too early for Christmas music, so we are going to bring you one more Christmas piece, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, and it is featuring one of our students, and an Tomiko playing the solo, and the character of this piece is meant to depict galloping of a horse, so be on the lookout and listen for that as we play God Rest You Merry Gentlemen.
two days with them. Um, they're like filled with joy, with love, with kindness, and it's just a sweet, it's just a treat. And thank you, parents, for allowing me to work with them. It is a privilege. And thank you, Mr. Nino, for the invitation. It is so uh, such a treat to be here. Uh, he was my professor in college. So it doesn't mean he's way old. It just means he's he's been ahead of the game since a long time ago. So it's not uh, so um, it's, it's, it's really, really a treat to be here. Thank you, Mr. Nino, again. This, our first piece, our first song is God Bless the Child, Come See the Child. And it is a, a sweet and powerful, energetic song, uh, praising Jesus and just inviting you all to come see the child, to come with the joy and um, pleasure that it is to offer you the opportunity to see the child. Anyone that is willing and available and wanting to see the child can come see the child. So I have gorgeous voices. I had the blessing to have them this week. Um, we discovered them in choir, and I'm not sure they sing at home as well, so the parents know, but we didn't know, I didn't know. So it's such a treat to have them, they sing so gorgeous, so you have the pleasure of listening to them. Um, and so of course the choir. And then the following song um, is also along the lines of love, because our world is so needs it right now with everything happening in Israel and Palestine, and all the Middle East, and maybe in my country. There is the love, the world needs love, real love, God's love. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing, um, what is it not to see that's mm -hmm. Beloved, let us love one another. Beloved, for a second, the name has get my, escaped my mind. Beloved, let's love one another. And our last song is, you have my brother, tell him one in a second.
see a hamba as our next piece. It's a African, South African uh, song, folk song. Hey. Um, hey, and I do have a girl that speaks Swahili here, which makes me think that her parents speak Swahili. I would like to know who it is because I would love you to cover your ears because um, we will be singing in some Swahili. And, um, so yeah, see, yeah, Hamba's, yeah, yeah. So um, the song is in Swahili, most of it. Uh, it's beautiful, we're doing the best we can, in other words. So, well, maybe you can listen, you can tell us later how much we were supposed to sing it. But it is an amazing song of um, how, how all of us, or my group, will be, I mean, we're imagining that we're going through the villages and we're, yes, that's right, we're, we're just wanting to share the love of God. We want to share about God, about His kindness, about His light, about all He does. So, we're going to be walking through the, through, the, through the fields and everything. And I have a really amazing, so many amazing instrumentalists as well. Um, Cajon, you can hear it. It's really awesome. It's going to make you feel like you're walking in the African fields. And the bass with some incredible notes. So thank you so much, this buddy. Of course, the pianist, which has been, uh, the, yes, she, she was uh, here from the part of the missing today. So thank you so much, Miss Lopez. I call her Miss Brazilian girl, because she's from Brazil, and I'm so bad with names. But she's Miss Lopez. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so everyone help me this week. Thank you so much. So many more, oh, it's super special this week that I would like to, would like to, I know, we'll, we'll play in a second, but you can keep playing. I love the drums. Um, that I want to say thank you too because she's been like an inspiration this week as well. Every time I look, she has this gorgeous smile, like motivating me because I was, yes, I've been a for a little while. Um, Miss Gwen, Mrs. Gwen, I don't know if you know the last name or anything, but she's here, she must be smiling somewhere. She's always smiling. And it's like so incredible. Miss Gwen, I guess she's smiling, I tell you. She's so incredible. So I would like to add an applause for her because she's awesome. <laughs>
every one of you who have participated, my sincere thanks and appreciation to all parents and schools that have been supporting this music festival to be a reality. I would like to acknowledge a few people that deserve to be recognized today for the work behind uh, curtains, uh, behind scenes. And, and number one, I would, I would like to mention the teachers at the school, the music teachers who have been working with these kids uh, uh, before they got here. I'm going to start with Mount Edna Adventist School. Uh, recognizing and giving thanks to Mrs. Tati, Tatiana Lopez, and Mary de la Paz. Uh, Whatever you are. Uh, Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, right there. Right there. Good. Uh, thank you, ladies, for your dedication and your work. For Rocky Knoll Advanced School, Mrs. Heidi Martin. Frederick Adventist Academy, we have Ms. Angie Brown working with the girls. Uh, from Dover First Adventist School, we have Wayne Hofer. Uh, Thank you. Uh, from Appleton Adventist Academy, we have Mrs. Beatrice Taylor. It's great to have Mrs. Taylor with us. We went to college together. Uh, Spencerville Adventist Academy, we have uh, uh, most of the representation from Students in this festival come from Spencerville, and we thank uh, thanks Jane Lanning. Uh, Mrs. Lisa Frolik. And our commission for strings this year is once again. Emily Flores. Thank you. I would like to extend also a special uh, thanks to the Highland View Academy students who have been also missing class, missing work, catching up to support uh, this group as the individual ensemble. So Highland, Highland View Academy students, can you stand please? I'd like to thank you. Wherever you are. Thank you, guys. So, also a special mention to someone who has been helping us with the design and art for the promotion for the t-shirts. A uh, very talented uh, person in design. Uh, our own uh, teacher, Mr. Kelvin De La Paz. Back there in the sound system, we have also working uh, very hard, Mr. Mike Goblin. And also our social, social media streaming, uh, uh, led by Mr. Fabio Lopez. And this... This program uh, is being live streamed through the Highland View Church channel. And if you would like to go back and see it again, you can just uh, search in YouTube Highland View Church uh, channel, and that's where you're going to find it. Uh, well, uh, also, I would like to express my gratitude to my right hand in this project. Uh, she's a volunteer in that sense helping me with a lot of things, and it's my wife, Anna Nino. <laughs> right, I'm going to uh, invite our clinicians, please, to come forward here, because you guys have been the essence and the 
backbone of this festival. If you guys can come over here, uh, we have Emily, we have CJ, we have Patty and Lena. Uh, having this festival so early in the school year was a challenge from the beginning, trying to find clinicians because it's always uh, complicated to get, uh, to arrange a schedule, but all of them were willing to accept this invitation and come from all the way from Florida, from Chicago, from Washington State, and from home. And still, still it has been a pleasure to have you and my deep, my deep appreciation for your hard work. I know that early in the school year uh, brings some more challenges and, and you guys were tested and passed the test. Uh, um, so thank you, we have something uh, for you guys. And and also I would like to invite uh, Ms. Tatiana Lopez to come here because she has been always in the background uh, but without her help it has been always a challenge not to help. Uh, Mrs. Lopez has been our official pianist for the festival for the past few years and also she helped us with the piano and Harlem View Academy and she also helped a lot in the organization and production of part of this program especially this morning so thank you Tatiana for everything and she I'm gonna Bless you now uh, with our school uh, vice principal, Ms. Eperluz. We will just bow your heads with me so we can close this afternoon with a word of prayer. My King, we're so grateful for this beautiful Sabbath day that you've given us, and for the blessing of music, for the gift of the children here today, the young people here today, and the privilege of seeing them use their talents to glorify you. We just pray that as we leave this place, all the blessings that you've poured out on us flow through us and into everyone that we meet. We love you so much. We thank you for your love. Amen. Amen. Have a happy Sabbath, everyone. Thanks for coming. All right. Uh, just a quick side, side note. Um, Right now we are uh, finishing, as soon as we close Sabbath, we connect directly with another big event here this weekend, which is STEM Festival. So if you are going to be around, you are invited to come tomorrow uh, for a very interesting event, STEM Festival. Now, for the same reason, if you are able to help us a little bit with your chair, uh, you can, if you can, you can fold it and put it against the wall, that we highly appreciate it. So help us to expedite the setup for the next event. Thank you, and you have a wonderful week.